To keep your Apex system running at peak performance, regular filter replacement is key. This video walks you through how to replace filters on all APEC models, including standard, pH, and UV units. Start by shutting off the cold water supply, the feed water adapter, and the tank valve. Then crack open the RO faucet to release the pressure. Lay down a towel or place a shallow pan under the unit, just in case. Grab your housing wrench and unscrew the three pre-filter housings. Toss out the old filters. Then wash each housing with dish soap and rinse thoroughly. This clears out sediment and biofilm that can build up over time. With clean hands, unwrap your new filters. Stage 1. Sediment. Stage 2 and 3. Carbon block. Make sure the O-rings are in place. Tighten the housings firmly by hand. Use the wrench for a final snug. Leave a 1 16th inch gap between housing and cap. Don't over tighten. Unscrew the RO membrane housing cap. Use pliers to gently pull the old one out, noting its orientation. Install the new membrane in the same orientation. Press in the new membrane until fully seated, then screw the cap back on tight. Now for the inline filters. Disconnect the tubing from the filters like post carbon, pack, pH and mineral, deionization, DI. Install the replacements in the same flow direction. Clip them in place and reconnect the tubing. If your system includes a UV light, unplug the power cord. Remove the black plastic cap. Leave the metal housing alone. Carefully remove the old bulb. Insert the new one without touching the glass. Then plug the power cord back in. Open the feed valve, cold water supply, and the RO faucet to release the air from the lines. Then open the tank valve and watch for leaks. Everything holding steady? You're in good shape. Let the system fill usually takes two to four hours. Once it's full, open the RO faucet and drain the tank completely. Let it refill again, then drain once more. Repeat for two to three total flushes. This clears carbon dust and trapped air, essential for a clean, smooth flow. Heads up, if your RO system is connected to a fridge, don't flush through it. You could clog the internal filters. That's it. Your APAC filters are replaced and your system's back in action. Stick to your replacement schedule and enjoy pure, great-tasting water every day.